What's up everyone? Thank you for trucking with G. I'm Gilbert and in this video I'm gonna show you how to change the mud flap on any chassis or trailer. For all the tools that I'm using I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description below. So if you're interested go ahead and check them out. Anyways let's go. Fix a mud flap right now. My drill. Let's see how long this takes us. 906. Stopwatch. Reset. Start. Got this Milwaukee adapter. It comes in a pack of three. It comes in a quarter inch, three eighth inch, and a half inch. And let's see what size am I gonna need. This is a 14, I probably need a 12. Nope, it's a 13. Okay, then let's get a 13 box wrench. There's a 13 right here. Okay. This DeWalt impact drill comes in handy. All right, I'm using this mud flap right here. Whenever I see mud flaps just laying on the ground somewhere, I'll just pick them up in case I need to use them later. They get torn off all the time and they just get left on the road or left in the yard at a customer. So I'll just pick it up. I'll try to have like at least two or three on me at all times. Just in case I have a situation like this, I get a chassis or a trailer that's missing a mud flap. All right, now I just gotta drill a hole, but I don't think I'm gonna use the drill because I don't have a big enough drill bit. I'm just gonna use a knife. This is the Leatherman Wave. I carry this on me at all times, and it definitely comes in handy. I got straight knife, serrated knife, and then it's also pliers. I got a bottle opener, screwdriver with the detachable bits. And then this side, I got a set of scissors and a flathead and a mini screwdriver in there. And then also wire cutters and strippers. So let's see, I'll just put it like right here. And I'll just keep on twisting it. Till it makes a big enough hole for the bolt to go through. All right, let's see if that's big enough. Yep, it works. So I'll just put that one in there. Let it hang. And then see where my next hole is. So it's about right, about right there. So the same thing. Should be good. Stick that in there like that. And 
then make one more hole about right there okay stick that right there and now I just got to put all the nuts on Okay, actually I should have put my flashlight on my hat. Love this flashlight, it's LED, rechargeable. Just plugs in with a micro USB. You could clip it in your pocket or you could clip it on your hat with a reversible clip. And now we got light. Okay. Grab my same tools, 13 millimeter box wrench and 13 millimeter socket with this half inch socket adapter and using my DeWalt impact drill. That's it. We are done. That didn't take that long. Let's see. That took eight minutes and 12 seconds. So not too bad. Well, I hope this video helps somebody out there. And if you don't have a drill, of course you could use a ratchet and a box wrench or however you want to do it, whatever is easier for you. But this is what I like to do because it's easiest and it's the fastest. All right, now I just gotta put all my tools away and start rolling. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching my video on how to change a muff lap on any trailer or chassis. If you're interested in any of the tools that I had in this video, I'll have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And if you like this video, smash that like button comment share subscribe hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time i drop a new video and i'll see you on the next one Ooh.